Okay, those of you that don't know me, my name is Andy Edmund. I'm the Assistant Sport and Active Health Manager here at Christchurch University. And we bring seven classes to you a week uh, via our parks. And it's really great that you've uh, joined us today. Um, hello to any new ones. If you can put your cameras on or you feel comfortable putting your cameras on, fantastic. If you'd rather not, that's absolutely fine as well. Um, I'll just give it 30 seconds and then we'll get started. Okay, so we're going to start with our uh, hand weights, either bottles or cans or whatever you feel you want to use. Um, again, hopefully you receive the email. It's going to be very similar to last week. Um, one, because I've got a lot of fantastic um, feedback, but also it just gives people a chance to um, push themselves a little bit further this week possibly than they did last week because they know what's going to be coming okay so we're going to start with the weights or the hand weights um if you wish to do it in the seat that's absolutely fine but today we're going to do it standing so it's entirely up to you whether you sit or stand okay so i'm just going to put the music on and then we'll get started Could I ask everyone just to double check they've turned their mics off and then we get going. Okay, standing or sitting nice and tall, shoulders down and back. Could I ask somebody's left there, I can't see them, uh, turn their mic off. We're just going to take the head left and right. Lovely, good. Come up to neutral position and then we're going to go forward and back. Deep breath in, blow out, drop the chin to the chest. Gently back to centre and then back. As far as you feel comfortable. That's the normal. You apologise, I will find out who that is. Keep going. Julie, Julia, could you turn your mic off, please? And Katrina, please. Good, okay. So we're going to look left and right. Julia and Katrina, could you please turn your mics off? Thank you. Okay, let's roll the shoulders. There's two ladies that haven't got their cameras on, so if that helps, narrow it down. Okay, let's roll the other way. Good, okay. We're gonna start with some bicep curls. Good, we squeeze gently as we come up. Good, okay, one more. This time we're gonna hold them down to the side. Coming up and down. We're just warming the body through. Lovely, good. Okay, one more. Okay, good. Let's come up to this position. Thumbs, uh, sorry, small fingers are in. As we come up, our thumbs come together. Small fingers, thumbs. Lovely. Use your breathing. One more. Good, okay, let's walk it out. Okay, walking our feet slightly out so that they're shoulder width apart. We're gonna hold the weights out and we're gonna squat. Bring them down to the side. Bringing them forward and up. Just go down to where you feel comfortable. One more. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to turn the taps on and off. We're going to slowly come round. Bringing them up further and further. And coming back down. 
Good, okay, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see better. I'm gonna take one leg back as we normally do. Lean forward, we're gonna twist and come back. Twist, come back. We should feel this in the backs of the arms. Good, one more. And gently come up, good, okay. Shake the legs out, we're gonna put the weights down now. You can either stay standing up or use the chair. The chair, I'm gonna give variations a little bit further into the session. So we're gonna to sit towards the front of this chair. Again, sitting or standing very nice and tall. We're just gonna take a deep breath in and drop our chin to the chest. Just feel that stretch through the back of the neck. Gently coming back up to center. Push the tongue to the top of the mouth. Deep breath in and just gently take it back to where you feel comfortable. Should feel the stretch through the front of the neck. Good, back to neutral position. Deep breath in, drop the chin to the chest. Back to neutral position. Tongue to the top of the mouth and gently back. Back to neutral position. Good. Look over to your left shoulder. And then gently and slowly look up towards the ceiling. And then back down to the shoulder. Just feel this stretching on the opposite side. Let's come back up to neutral position, looking over onto our right shoulder and then turning gently and looking up towards the ceiling and back down. Please use your breathing. Good, gently coming back up to neutral position. Let's roll those shoulders, take out any tension. Nice deep breath in, we're gonna take one arm across above the elbow. As we blow out, we're gonna pull in and turn the head over the shoulder and then rotate the hand that's furthest away from our face. <sighs> Keeping our core and our trunk nice and engaged. Good, shake that one out and change it over. Deep breath in as we blow out, looking over the shoulder and then rotate the hand. <sighs> Feeling that nice stretch through the back of the shoulder. Good, shaking it out. Lovely, good. Okay, hands in front of our face. We're gonna take a deep breath in and blow them away. And as we do, we're gonna drop our chin to the chest and really open up our shoulder blades. Nice deep breath in as we come back up, pull our elbows apart. Deep breath in, blow away, <sighs> drop the chin. Coming back up. Nice and tall. Those that are sitting, I'd like you this time, so as you blow away, tuck your tailbone up towards your chin. Nice deep breath in, blow out, and really round the back. And then come back up. Lovely, good. Bring our hands together, elbows together, either interlink the fingers or just keep them uh, separate, and then rotate the wrists one way, and then back the other. <sighs> Lovely, good, shaking those out. Nice deep breath in, doesn't matter which arm, start down nice and low. We're just gonna put a little bit of pressure on the back of the hand as we lift the arm up, and you should feel the stretch through the forearm and possibly in the top of the shoulder. This is a really good exercise for people that suffer with tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. And then we're going to take that pressure off, rotate the wrist, and then pull back down the other way. Good. Three, two, one. Let it down, shake it out, and let's go to the other side. Nice deep breath in. Come up, push against the wrist. You should, as I say, feel the stretch through the forearm. Again, they're muscles and tendons that we tend to forget about. Deep breath in, and we rotate the wrist and pull 
back down the other way. Good. Take that one out. Lovely. We're going to put our hands together and just literally turn our hands down and come up. One more. Good. Okay. Let's open our hands, palm facing up, deep breath in, and we're going to keep our elbows tucked in and really pull back our sh shoulder blades, pull back and then return. Deep breath in, blow out. Squeeze and release. Deep breath in, squeeze. And release. One more. Deep breath in, squeeze. And release. Lovely, good. Okay, shake those out. We're going to take a deep breath in, opposite arm to leg. So again, you can do this standing or seated. We take a deep breath in and we're going to lift the leg from the opposite hand and really stretch up, engaging across our body. And then lower and change. Lovely balance, everyone, those that are standing. And change. And change. Good, lovely, shake those out. I would like you just to sit those that are standing on for this particular exercise. And then those that may go on the floor on the second part, I might, I will be referring back to this exercise that we're gonna do now, just so you're aware, if you would rather not go on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna go into a figure four with our legs. Deep breath in, we're gonna cross off one leg over the other, it doesn't matter which side. And just sit, take a nice deep breath in, and keeping our back nice and straight. So we're pivoting from our hips. Deep breath in and then blow out as we come forward. We should feel a nice stretch through the, the glute, the buttock and the upper part of your thigh. Coming back. Deep breath in. This time we're going to go and hold for 10 seconds. Deep breath in and blow out as we come forward and just try and hold that nice position. It helps to Release any tension in the lower back. Three, two, one. Gently coming back up. Okay, let's uncross the legs and change over sides. This other side might be a little bit tighter. We always tend to use our favorite side first. Deep breath in, let's blow out as we come forward and hold. Again, feeling that tension in the hip in the buttock and the top of the thigh. Good, let's come back up. Deep breath in and blow out. Three, two, one, and release. Perfect, okay. I'm gonna come off the chair now, but you can do this on the chair, so it's up to you. I'm just gonna take the chair away. So I'm going to have one leg out straight, one leg bent, and we're literally going to roll down and come up. And again, last week we did this in the chair. Nice deep breath in, blow out, and come up. Good. One more. Deep breath in, blow out, and come up. Lovely, good. This time we're going to go down and hold for 10. Deep breath in, blow out, and just go down to where you feel comfortable. Do a nice stretch through the back of the leg, the hamstrings, calf. Three, two, one. Carry on that circle, come up and release. Amazing, good. Okay, let's change, shake the legs out and change legs over. We take knees together, take a small step back, deep breath in and blow out as we come down. And come up. Good. One. Two. Lovely. One more. And three. Doing amazing, everyone. Good. This time we're going to hold it down for 10. Deep breath in, go down. Just work within your range of movement. Three, two, 
three, two, one. Gently coming back up. Lovely, good, okay. Take the legs out. Then we're gonna move on to, you can use the chair if you want to, but we're gonna use our hip mobility. If you remember last week we came out and we came back, okay? So we're gonna do three one way and three the other. Doesn't matter which leg you stand on. If you'd rather have the chair there, just as, as a point of reference, that's absolutely fine as well. So nice deep breath in, come up, rotate out and down, good. Come up, rotate, and down. Lovely. Come up, keeping our core nice and engaged. Rotate, and down. Brilliant, shake the legs out. So although we're moving one leg, it's actually the other leg doing all the work, stabilizing. Okay, we're gonna use the same leg that we just moved to come back round the other way. We're gonna come up and out, round, and down. Lovely. Up and out round and down up and out round and down good fantastic balance everyone shake the legs out brilliant nice deep breath in we're going to change over legs now we're going to come up first rotate out and round that's one come up rotate and down good last one Come up, rotate. Oh dear, my balance is gone. Rotate, come down and round. Brilliant, shake it out. And same side still, but coming back the other way. Come up and out, round and down. Good. See how different it can feel on the other side. Come up, round and down. Lovely, last one. Come up, round and down. Brilliant, shake the legs out, good. Okay, I'll turn to the side this time so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take my foot back as far as I feel comfortable and I'm gonna push gently my toes into the floor. That will then increase the stretch through my hip. I'm gonna hold there for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, just take the, foot off the floor and then replace this time i'm going to push down again about five percent but this time i'm going to take the arm up and take it over as we do so nice deep breath in and here we go <sighs> really lengthen don't force anything just lengthen through the fingertips down to the toes three two one and release good shake the legs out Let's change over legs. So we're gonna take the other leg back now. 5%, just push down into the floor. Again, you should feel that through the hip. <sighs> Great for balance as well. Release, just take the foot off and then return. Deep breath in, push down into the floor as we then take the arm up and lengthen through. Three, two, one, and bring it down. Good, shake the legs out. Now this next bit you can either do on the chair as we did last week, or if you're happy to go onto the floor, that's what we'll be doing, okay? So we're gonna roll down. If you're in a chair, have your legs wider apart and just roll down between your legs. If you're standing, want them so they're about hip width apart, Nice deep breath in. We're gonna unlock the knees, unlock the hips, drop the chin to the chest, and just allow ourselves to roll down. Just go down to where you feel comfortable. You may be just below the knees. You might be able to get your fingertips to the floor. Okay, deep breath in, gently rotate to the left. And back to centre, deep breath in, rotate to the right. Good, back to centre. Deep breath in, we're going to roll up this time. Deep breath in, and as we blow out, we're just going to roll back up. 
feeling vertebrae by vertebrae coming up roll the shoulders lovely shake the arms out if you've got the chair we're going to go into plank so if you've got the chair just have the chair and you're going to go into this position here if you haven't got the chair and you're going onto the floor we're going to take a deep breath in roll down again and walk the fingers out into our plank on our hands so our elbows, oh sorry, our wrists are over our shoulders. Feet are together. Tummy's pulled in and just holding that position for another five, four, three, two, one. Gently drop the knees and then push back into child's pose if you're on the floor. If you're on the on the chair just come down onto your knees push back as far as you feel comfortable okay so we're in child's pose from here we're going to come up into what i call high kneeling and we're going to bring one leg forward if you're using the chair again you're going to come up and you're going to bring one foot forward onto the chair okay so if you're on the floor so you're doing exactly the same as we did last week exactly the same if you're using the chair or the floor we're going to tilt our pelvis forward tuck it under nice deep breath in and blow out as we come forward again feeling that nice stretch through the open hip on the back leg doing amazing Three, two, one. Gently take that pressure off. I'd like you to now take a deep breath in. Just drop down, put your hands onto the floor. If you're comfortable to, take your back foot and kind of bring the back knee off. If you're on the chair, you'll still be in the same position as this, but just using the front leg onto the chair. From here, be careful if you are on the chair. Deep breath in. We're going to rotate, hang closest to the foot, all the way around as far as you feel comfortable, and then back. That's one. We're going to go two more times. Deep breath in, rotate, and return. Deep breath in, rotate, and return. Lovely, good. Just gently rock forward and back opening up those hips you're doing amazing good those that are on the floor drop that back knee those that are standing or using the chair just come back so you're standing up and your front foot is on the chair from here i'd like you to push down into the chair or onto the floor about five percent keeping yourself nice and upright so you should feel slight engagement through the hips and the hamstrings. Three, two, one. Gently come forward. Bring your hands to the heel of your front foot. Gently now drop the hips back. Again, intensifying that stretch through the back of the hamstrings, through the glute, through your calf. Again, just work with what feels right for you. If you can keep your back as straight as possible rather than rounding it over three two one good take that pressure off rock forward come up and return let's change over feet so we're doing exactly the same now but on the other side so the other foot comes forward deep breath in tilt the pelvis and then blow out as we pull forward Again, if you're on the chair, please be very careful. Three, two, one. Let's take that pressure off. Come back. Deep breath in. We're just going to drop our hands down to the floor or onto the chair. If you're on the floor, bring that back knee off the floor. Hand closest to the foot. Deep breath in. And we're going to rotate that hand around 
again as far as you feel comfortable and then return that's one deep breath in that's two return and last one that's three good lovely gently drop that knee to the floor if you're on the floor and we're going to come up into high kneeling again straighten the front leg and push it into the floor or onto the seat about five percent again three two one take that pressure off deep breath in and just roll forward hands to in line roughly with your heel and then just feather your hips back to where you feel you're getting that nice stretch don't again force anything it will open up as you release and relax three two one good gently come forward and come up good okay those that are on the floor we're going to come up into our high kneeling position and then into our four point kneeling we're going to take our left leg and cross it over our right leg so I don't I hope you can see that what I'm doing there and from here we're going to slide back go down as low as you feel you comfortably can again you should feel now the stretch in the glute on the top of the thigh those that are in the chair if you remember I said I'm going to refer back to this just cross one leg over the other deep breath in come forward it stretches exactly the same as it does on the floor okay good those that are on the floor when you're ready gently come back up to four point kneeling and let's change over side so we can take the other leg over back past the leg and then just gently come back down good nice long deep breaths in and out three two one gently come back up those of you that are in the chair obviously you swap your legs over and change those that are on the floor just a deep breath in and down into child's pose those that are in the chair just roll down between your legs and just stretch the back out three two one gently come back up we're going to spin round and lay onto our backs we do a little bit of core work so we're going to lay nice and flat on the floor making sure we push our lower back into the floor legs come up into tabletop and i'd like you just to touch your heel on the floor alternating you can push your hands gently into the floor just to keep that lower part of your abdomen working nice and those that are in the chair we again did this last week bring the hips slightly forward and again just cycle <sighs> amazing good lovely and what i can see everyone's on the floor which is great if you're not on the floor carry on going our next exercise is a rotation exercise so again we did this last week where we had our hands together and we took a deep breath in and we rotated around keeping our hips nice and level that's the next exercise those are on the floor relax we're going to cross one leg over the other those are in the chair you're going to put your hands together and rotate those that are on the floor cross the legs over deep breath in and drop your foot to the floor turn your head away and feel that nice stretch through your torso use your breathing allow time to allow things to open up really please try a couple of these stretches each day 
give yourself a little bit more time you'll find that you'll feel so much better good nice deep breath in and as we blow out we come back up and we're going to change over those that are in the chair just rotate to the other side now deep breath in and blow out drop the foot to the floor take the head over to the other side Three, two, one. Nice deep breath in. Blow out as we come back up to center. Good, okay. Those are in the chair, if you could just hold on just one second. Those are on the floor. Lift the feet up into tabletop. Hands go behind the knees. Literally sit yourself up. Okay, I'm gonna put my left hand down my right hand down and my left, my right leg across. From here, I'm gonna rotate round and push back so that I am down on my roll down. Those of you that are seated, if you could gently stand up, nice deep breath in, we're gonna roll back up. Good, rotate the shoulders. Lovely, good. Okay, feet nice and wide. We're going to take a deep breath in as we come down. And as we blow out, we're going to come all the way up, really stretching fingertips to the ceiling. Nice deep breath in and blow out. <sighs> Coming up. Last one, one more. Nice deep breath in as we come down, blow out as we come up. Good. And give yourselves a round of applause. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much for coming in today.